Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to tie Hardy's favorite today. Um, we're not going to follow exactly the original pattern. Um, the original pattern uh, by J.J. Hardy, uh, at least outlined in J. Edson's Flies uh, from the 1950s, that book is um, uh, Pheasant Tippet Tail, um, Red Silk Floss Body Ribbed with Peacock, uh, Brown Hackle for the Beard, and Pheasant uh, Quill Segments for the Wing. Um, uh, the idea of a red floss body ribbed by peacock curl, uh, without any reinforcement just seems like, uh, like a recipe for, uh, a one fish fly. Um, most of the modern tyings do a peacock body ribbed with the, the red silk. Um, and I think that looks good. So we're going to do that. And then on the soft tackle forum on Facebook, I saw a tire do, uh, do the beard with pheasant, uh, not pheasant, uh, with partridge. And I thought that looked cool and great. Uh, it actually looks good just, just there as a fly. Uh, but then for the wing, uh, I'm going to use uh, model turkey. Um, uh, just cause, uh, that's easier, uh, easier for me to work with. Uh, I don't really have a great, uh, set of pheasant quills. Uh, so, uh, but, but you could do that, uh, pheasant as well. You get a similar, similar look. Uh, I'm really doing this fly here. Uh, hopefully someone from Hardy's is listening out there. Maybe, maybe they'll sponsor me or send me something for free. I would love that. Uh, huge fan of their their stuff. Uh, I know I have zero chance of that, but, uh, just tossing it out there. <laughs> uh, so tied in the, uh, pheasant tippets there, um, uh, length of the full length of the body, catch it in the red silk, uh, the red floss, sorry. Uh, this is a uh, rayon and, uh, you know, again, the length of the body, I'm grabbing a bunch of hurls here. Uh, I'm going to catch them in as well. Uh, and uh, make sure everything's back to exactly where I want. The length of the pheasant tippets is about the size of the body. And uh, now touching turns, I'm gonna move my uh, black thread all the way up to the top with uh, all the materials there so it stays um, fairly even in uh, girth uh, and level. And now I'm just gonna wrap uh, the peacock curl up. Um, the fly does look really cool with peacock curl as a rib, uh, but again, I don't know, you know, that's literally like a one fish, uh, fly and then that hurl is going to rip and it's going to come off and you, and you basically just have a red bodied, uh, fly. Um, I think this way of doing it, although maybe not authentic or modern, uh, provides for a much longer lasting fly. Um, and maybe a little less red, but you know, peacock is a, it's a magical, uh, magical material as well. I'm just cording up the floss a little bit. Um, you could do it flatter and sort of more mimic the rib, uh, factor. Um, I like it corded up like this so that the, the, uh, floss is actually a rib. But again, like I said, you could flatten out the floss and spiral that up, uh, and you would get the peacock curl to look more like a rib than it does here. Um, whereas here, definitely the uh, floss looks like the rib. Another option I just held up there is, you know, you could use a, a flat red tinsel. Uh, I think the one I held up is a holographic tinsel, which is a cool little product by Vivas. Um, you know, and, and that looks good too. Uh, so I'm going to do the throat with a partridge feather. Uh, find one, you know, that's going to, the, the length of, uh, um, the barbs, uh, the feather barbs is going to take you back to, um, you know, somewhere, uh, where the barb was, uh, or, or the bend, you know, exact length doesn't really matter. I like, I like these flies hackled a little bit more heavily. I know like Instagram and picture perfect is a, a little sparser, tighter beard, but, um, I think for fish ability, you know, something that's, a that's a lot more, uh, has a lot more hackles and uh, a lot more density to it is a little bit better. 
Uh, so I'm just catching it in by the tip there. And I'm gonna wind it just like you would a soft tackle, uh, brushing the partridge back and uh, touching turns going forward. Um, you'll see after after uh, wrapping this, you know, you literally could stop here. This is a pretty bang and fly as is right there. Um, you know, just a real simple soft tackle, uh, you know, with that body and tail. Uh, I mean, right there, this is a beautiful fly. Uh, so if you don't want to do the wing thing, uh, you know, by all means, this fly would work really, really well. Uh, so uh, I've caught in uh, the feather and wrapped it now, uh, just winding back. And then I'm going to snip out the, uh, the stem there. And again, I'm going to wind back. Uh, sorry about the wind chime in the background doing this outside. I'm going to wind back uh, just to uh, flatten everything, clean up the little space there where I'm going to catch in the wing. Um, so I use turkey quills. Um, these are uh, model turkey quills. They give you a nice little speckle. Uh, it seems that the traditional way to do it is sort of um, the way I'm doing it, where the, the tips of the feathers are down, um, sort of backwards from the way you see Bergman's done. Um, that old, uh, little older style where, where the tips are, are down that way. Uh, and I'm going back to, uh, you know, the, the, the wing length is the, the length of, uh, back to the bend midpoint of the tail, that sort of thing. Just getting it lined up and straight, a uh, couple tight wraps to hold it in place. Uh, I like to hold the wing while I snip off uh, the excess, just because the cutting can sometimes move the wing. Um, and then just cleaning up those little butt ends there a little bit. And, uh, you know, in this case, wrap a nice tight little head uh, on the fly, and I go right, start by winding right down to the hook eye and uh, building up from there, covering everything up. Apologies, I, I moved this a little bit, so through the focus off. Uh, I'm gonna adjust that focus in just a second. Bring it back so you can see. But just get a nice little tight, uh, small head, small head on the fly there, and uh, flatten the thread, do a whip finish back to front, and uh, tighten it down. Then just check the far side. Make sure you covered everything and didn't leave any gaps before you snip out the thread because you could always do another whip finish. And uh, there you go. That is the fly. And uh, uh, for uh, putting head cement uh, or finishing the fly, I use Sally Hansen's and uh, I dil dilute it with uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And I use, a, you know, um, uh, like like a bodkin point uh, to apply it. At least get the first or second coat, which will really soak in there, dry, and then you could do full uh, full strength Sally Hansen's as a uh, as a third coat or fourth coat as you see fit. Um, you know, UV resin would also work great, and much faster, a little less traditional, but much faster uh, application. You know, you're gonna get a smooth head. ASAP. Uh, I think uh, Bone Dry now comes in black, so you could even use that. So applying it there. Uh, as an example, uh, um, for this fly, uh, you know, in a practice run, I did it with the wing the other way. Uh, so we can take a look at that in a second. Here's a close-up of the fly after the head cement dries. Uh, here's with the wing more Bergman style. Uh, here's the two together as, uh, as you wish. Hardy, sponsor me. Bye, thanks.